Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in this video, we're going to deploy our full stack NFT marketplace project. So if you haven't watched the project, I will link that in the i button on the description so you guys can follow. In this video, we're going to focus only on deploying part, okay? So to deploying the application, we're going to use Heroku, okay? It's a free platform and it will happen in just few seconds, okay? So let me show you how you can do it. So here I have opened the Heroku. Make sure you come and create your own account, okay? So once you do that, simply log into your application, click on this login. And here I'm back into my Heroku account and here you can able to find all the projects which you have worked on. Okay, so I have already deployed a couple of projects. So all the list times here. So to deploy a new one, what you can do, click on this new and create a new app. And here you have to give the name to your app. So I'll call it NFT template. Select the region. So there is only two regions available, United States and Europe. So I'll go with United States and you don't need to define any pipeline. Okay, simply click on this create app. And you will come here and here you will find all the settings which you need to do to deploy the entire application. So the only thing you have to focus is you have to run all these command. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is install Heroku in your computer. Okay. So first you have to do install this Heroku CLI. So to do that, all you have to do is simply click on this Heroku CLI and you will come to here and here you will find all the instruction of installing this Heroku. Okay. So here you have to run this couple of commands. So first you have to install the get. If you click here you will come here in gift application and from here you can easily able to install git in your computer so make sure you pick your computer version so if you're using window install it for window if you're using mac install it for mac okay which is very simple let's come here back to the project and here we need to run this command so first we have to log on to our heroku so simply we're going to copy this and simply come back to applications and here we're going to open up your terminal and we're going to simply paste Heroku login. Okay. I have already installed. Again, I'm telling you, I have installed Heroku. I have get in my computer. That's why I can easily able to log in. So make sure you install get and Heroku. Then you can run this command. So let's click on this. Hit enter and here you can see. Now it's telling me that I have to press any key on my keyboard except Q. Okay. So I'll press D. And here you can see. I have redirect to the browser and I have to click on this login. So once I click on login, I will come back to my terminal and you can see I'm successfully logging with this account. Okay. So here I'm logging and now I have to run this command. So first thing I have to do is to initialize get simply copy that and let's come back to the and have to initialize get now I have to run this command get remote hit enter. And here you can see this is the repo. Now let's come down. I'm going to add this files. Now let's run the other command. This will take a little bit of time. Now we have to run this command, copy. And finally, we have to push to Heroku master branch. So here you can see it's taking a little bit of time and let's come back here, go to the setting. By the time it's happening, let's come back to the setting. And here we have to define the build package. Okay, so what packages we are using. So just come here and click on this and here you find all the options. So Node.js, Python, PHP, Rubik, Java. So I'll go with Node.js. Okay, simply click on because our program out the project which we have built on, on Node.js. Okay, so it's working fine. Now just wait, let, let it be complete. This portion will take a little bit of time because okay, because this project is really huge. And I, again, and again, I'm telling you, if you haven't watched the project, I'll link that in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that. So here you can see we are building the run build file. So just give a little bit of time, it will happen soon. And finally, we have successfully pushed the entire code to Heroku. And here you will find that currently you can use the free version like till 28 it's free you can easily able to push this code to get up but after that the free version of heroku is not be available for you okay so you can enjoy the free version right now but after 28 november it no longer there you have to upgrade your account okay because i have already have an upgraded account so i can use it now i have pushed that now let's come back here come back to the settings and if you scroll down here you will find the url of your project which is deploy on this Simply click on this and it will open on the browser and here you can see that our application is online. We can easily able to have a look. Everything is working fine. All the tabs are working fine. The image is taking a little bit of time to load because these images are heavy. Okay. Things are looking good. All the functionality is working fine. Okay. And by the way, if you haven't watched this project, again, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the best projects which you can add 
if you want to enter into a web 3 or if you want to become a react developer okay so this project will help you because it will teach you everything about smart contract front end user design and how you have to do the react folder and file structure and other technology you will use so make sure you check this project so if you click on this here we are on upload nft so everything is working fine so let's come back here and here you will we are on here to here you will find all the metrics everything all if you have any problem in your application that's all you will find here okay all the logs you will find here so everything is looking perfect okay so I hope now you know that how you can deploy your application to Heroku. I don't want to extend this video because it's a very simple, easy process. The only thing you have to keep in mind that you have to install Heroku in your computer and get then only you can easily able to deploy the application to Heroku. Okay. So hope you guys have found this video. If you have still any problem, any confusion about the project or about this video, do leave in the comment section. I try to help you on that. So for the time being, that's it. And if you are new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot to come up with this amazing video. So have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.